Hey guys, welcome back to another Swift tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at how you can add a segmented control to your app. If you're not familiar, a segmented control is similar to a tab navigation bar item uh, in that where you have multiple things you can select from at the top and they change something. So if you've ever used like the YouTube app and there's multiple tabs at the top for videos or playlists, or if you ever use like TikTok, they have tabs at the top. They're a little different from the tab bar at the bottom. Uh, but anyways, we're gonna be going through it and adding it and seeing it in action. So if you haven't already, smash that like button down below for daily Swift videos. Helps out with the YouTube algorithm quite a bit. Let's open up Xcode and jump right into it. So as always, we're gonna create a new project stick with a single view app. We're gonna call this segmented control, save it. We're gonna put it on the desktop and we're gonna expand the Xcode window to give ourselves some more room to work. Make sure you come up here and select the simulator that you wanna use and hit Command R to build this. Um, that way we don't have to wait for it once we put stuff in it. So, we're going to add a segmented control from the storyboard. So head over to the storyboard. Let's set the background color, once this decides to load, of this to dark gray, like so. That's not dark gray. It looks like normal gray. Let's pick this gray. And let's come up here and find our segmented control. Cool. Segmented control. So let's drag on. Uh, drag this on in and let's drop it right there and as you can see it's one of those things where it's kind of hard to define but it's this control where you can have different segments as the name kind of implies and they're oftentimes used in the navigation bar at the top of the screen where you can switch between different views we can of course click on it and configure things about it so the first thing we're going to look at is the actual selected text color Let's pick this color here, and there should also be a tint color and a background color. So the background, let's pick this obnoxious orange, and we can see this changing in action up here. Let's also change the tint color of this to this dark color. And let's actually just hit Command R to build and run and see what we get. So we'll see up here that we have this first and the second, and we can click between them, and uh, it'll actually change the position of this highlighted blue, indicating which thing is selected. So in a segmented control, if we click it, we can actually add multiple segments. So here we can see we have two. We can add, let's say, three, four, five. Let's stick with five. And let's come in here and expand this a little bit give ourselves a little more room to type in the titles. We can click in here and type in third, another, and last. And we can hit Command R, build and run again, like so. So an interesting thing about a segmented control uh, that we want to learn is how do we actually figure out once the segment has changed in our code because we want something to happen once the segment changes. So we need to go to our view controller and that's not our view controller. View controller and in here we want to create an IB action and this is going to be did change segment and it's going to take a sender of the UI segmented control and in here we're going to say if sender dot I believe it's selected segment is zero and we're going to do this if else um, from zero to four for our five segments because the segment index starts at zero, if I recall correctly. We're gonna change these numbers up. And what we're gonna actually do is, on each of these segment changes, we're gonna change the background color. 
So we're gonna say view dot background color. Let's do red. We'll change those colors in just a second. Blue, green. What other colors? Let's see, orange. And for this one, let's do black. And let's also change the background color to black and view to load so we don't start off with that gray. And make sure you don't forget to go back to your storyboard and connect this uh, action that we've added. So right click the view controller and drag from this function we created to the segmented control. And instead of doing touch up inside, which we oftentimes do for buttons, we wouldn't do value changed. So when the value of this uh, segmented control changes, we want to basically call that function. So let's hit Command R to build and run. And we start off with black, hit this, still black, go to red, go to orange, green, and blue. And of course you can click on any segment. It doesn't have to be the next one right next to it. And we get basically the segments doing stuff. And what's nice is you get this animation of the highlight color changing built in from iOS, uh, which is always cool where we don't have to write extra code to do something. The other thing that we can do, of course, if we don't want to configure all this stuff in the storyboard, is create an outlet for our segmented control. Let's call it control. And let's say we want to do control dot background color is white. Don't forget to go back to your storyboard and connect your control outlet to the control itself. Let's close my antivirus pop up, which likes to pop up every now and then, and connect this control outlet to the segment of the control. That's it, Command R, build and run one more time. And we'll see that the background color should be white, like so. Awesome, so that is an overview of how you can add a segmented control into your app, what it looks like, how you can get the value once you change the segments, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, I do daily Swift tutorials, other tech videos along the way. Uh, if you're new, subscribe. If you're returning, thanks for coming back, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.